All right, we are back, and it's time to look at that similarity report on the Great Gatsby paper. Uh, basically, what you need to do is get to that assignment and go to Speed Grader. There's a couple ways to do that. You can do that from your to-do list. You can do it from the module by clicking on the assignment and then clicking on Speed Grader. You can do it from the grade book. However you like to get to Speed Grader on an assignment is how you will do this. So where is that Great Gatsby paper? There it is. So I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to go to Speed Grader. And you can see I've already got a little bit of an indication that this paper might be problematic. It's got an orange tag on it. So I'm going to go to Speed Grader, and let's see what's going on. And I got a 67% similarity report. Now, it's a little low since all of this was plagiarized, but I'll show you where the problems lie. So to see the actual similarity report, click on that box that has the uh, similarity score, and that will give you uh, shoot you over to the detailed report. Now there are two views when you get here. There's a source overview, which is pretty much usually that's about all you'll, you're going to need. You can click on this, and it will show you the original content. In this case. Um, this is private content. It's been excluded, so we can't see it, but it looks like most of it is plagiarized. We'll click on this Wikipedia. It does not look like that Google Translate trick did me much good. Everything still comes in um, very similarly to uh, the original Wikipedia, even though I went through Italian, German, and English. Uh, sometimes, I don't know, maybe you go through Russian or... Uh, Chinese, who knows, maybe you'll get a little bit better results um, if you're the student trying to get past a similarity checker. And you'll see here that this chat GPT really didn't, it was hard to detect. Now there is this uh, site three, this is EBS Consulting. Daisy is Buchanan in the fictional character F. Scott Fitzgerald 1925 novel, The Great Gatsby. The character is a wealthy socialite from Louisville, so uh, I don't know. That's I don't know that I would flag that myself as being plagiarized. It seems plausible that a student could have written this, even though the similar uh, wording does appear in the source. Same thing. Uh, again, this does not seem like a particularly high flag. To me, and number four, and that's it looks like it was a high school student, Gatsby, to take the blame for killing Myrtle, even though she was the one driving the car. Again, yes, that sentence is very similar, but um, that might be a case where I'd say, eh, you know what, I'm going to exclude this text from the score. Now, if I do that, why exclude this text? Common wording. And that drops the similarity score down to 66. Again, here, I'm probably going to go ahead and exclude that text, common wording, and that drops it down to 65. And three, just for grins and giggles, I'm going to exclude that text and call it common wording also. And that dropped the overall similarity down to 63. Now, I'm still especially since it will show you uh, what is in Wikipedia. And you can see that, yeah, all of that's kind of in the same order. There's just a word or two here changed. That seems like a legit issue with similarity. Here it's hard to tell because this is a private text. But if I wanted to, instead of the sources overview, I could go to all sources and then I'll click on this wikipedia.org source, and you'll see, oh, yeah, just about all of that coming in is straight from the Wikipedia article. Now, it excluded Valley of Ashes because it's in quotes. Dines with a distant. I don't know how that changed from cousin to relative. Maybe that's been a recent edit in Wikipedia. But again, straight from Wikipedia, it caught it. 
if I look at the second citation that uses Wikipedia or similarity uh, linked to Wikipedia, again, that Google Translate shows Google Translate uh, section shows most of it came from Wikipedia. All right, so that is how you use the similarity score. What is the flags? No hidden text, no suspicious characters. Um, so sometimes, let me just show you how that works. Let's see, let me go to Word. If I were to, and you'd be amazed at what students are willing to do to get past turn it in. If I were to come in here, make my font white, backspace and type an X, oops, make that font white, and do that everywhere. Let's see if I can copy, paste, paste, paste. That essentially makes these all one long word, and that's a little bit harder for a plagiarism detector to find. Original did a better job because it was doing a character by character comparison rather than a word by word comparison. But apparently, Turnitin will now look for those suspicious characters, and that's what that flag rating is. All right, that is the similarity report for Turnitin similarity. Um, you will get an indication of the similarity score in the assignment. You'll also see uh, a basic guesstimation in the gradebook itself. I use this with original. Uh, so those were red flags, and here's that great Gatsby paper with the orange flag. All right. Have a great semester. Bye-bye.